you see it right there. Terrifying moments yesterday morning when a crane collapsed after it caught fire in Hell's Kitchen. Now, the crash from nearly 50 stories in the sky all the way to the ground, leaving about 11 people with injuries. Yeah, Pixel Limits Michelle Ross is joining us live from the scene with more on the investigation and what conditions are looking like this morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Hazel and Erin. Crews have been working around the clock to clean up yesterday's mess after that boom snapped off that crane almost 50 stories in the air and slamming its way down to ground level here. And that boom is still on scene here. You can see that it has not been removed. It has not been touched since yesterday and since it's made its new home here, essentially, on 10th Avenue. Now, uh, it slid down the side of that building and broke a few windows before landing. And you can also see that the 180 foot boom went through the scaffolding, which potentially helped break its fall. Now, the crane operator, Christopher Van Doon, has been identified by the Department of Buildings as the same person who was charged and fined in connection to the deadly construction accident of his co worker in 2008, just one block from where we are now. Now, the nearby buildings had to be evacuated, and hundreds of first responders were on scene, and the perimeter was closed for many blocks to prevent pedestrians or drivers from entering this danger zone. Many witnesses say it felt like an earthquake. In front of our building, all the glass, the debris, is everything is it's mangled like, like Godzilla took it and just crushed it in his hand. I got to get out the building ground floor, and the steps was gladiated. It was people pulling, pushing, falling. If you fell, you got stepped on. Now, no word yet on when the boom will be removed or when the street here at 42nd Street and 10th Avenue will reopen. We'll keep you updated on that. Now, uh, 11 people were injured. It's miraculous because many more could have been injured and they were only minor injuries, but still a high number. Officials say it could have been a lot worse. We're live in Hell's Kitchen. Michelle Ross, Pix 11 News.